fail. Our objectives for today will be to 1. Guess the content of the text, natural play and why it matters. 2. Find the meaning of the following words. Diverse. Hyperactive, instinct, universal, structure. 3. Answer questions as they listen to the dialogue on natural play. What do you like to do during your spare time? Reading. Listening to music. Dancing. Watching TV. Using your mobile phone. Playing. Where do you like to play? Indoors. Or. Outdoors. Why playing outdoors? Playing outdoors increases creativity. Reduces hyperactivity. Gives healthier bodies. Reduces stress. Why don't many children play outdoors? Some children don't play outdoors for the absence of green areas. Using mobile phones instead. Playing video games. Having overprotective parents. Having no time because of studying. Let's find out the meaning of the following words. Diverse. Hyperactive. Instinct. Universal. Structure. Diverse means of various, of many kinds. Hyperactive means having an increased state of activity. Instinct means a natural behavior. Universal means worldwide. Structure means the form of something. Let's practice. Use the words diverse, hyperactive, instinct, universal, structure, to fill in the blanks.
Read the following questions and guess their answers. 1. List the benefits of having access to nature and playing in nature. 2. What evidence do we have to show that human appreciation for nature is instinctual to some extent? 3. What are some of the reasons for so many children not playing outdoors? To answer the question, listen to the dialogue with Dr. Hadi on natural play and its importance. Listening Texts, Unit 3. Lesson 1 Just Playing. Natural Play and Why It Matters. Presenter, Dr. Hadi is with us today to talk about the importance of children's access to nature. Welcome Dr. Hadi. Hadi, my pleasure, research shows that children as well as adults get several benefits from having access to nature. For adults, there are clear physiological benefits from contact with nature. Studies have shown that walking in a park, or even looking at pictures of natural landscapes, can lower heart rate, blood pressure, and stress levels. For children, the benefits are much more diverse. Presenter, please tell us about some of these benefits. Hadi. First, studies show that nature play supports creativity and problem solving. Second, closeness and daily exposure to natural settings improve children's cognitive abilities and increase their ability to focus and reduce the symptoms of hyperactivity. Moreover, studies also show that nature-based educational activities improve students' academic achievement. Children in schools with diverse natural settings are also more physically active and get along better with the peers than children without such experiences. Finally, more time spent outdoors results in reduced rates of nearsightedness in children and adolescents. Presenter, this is quite interesting, Dr. Hadi. Hadi. The human appreciation for nature seems to be instinctual to some extent. Research in different countries, from Lebanon's crowded concrete cities to South Africa's vast grassy, treeless stretches of land supports this notion. When children in vastly different living environments are asked to draw things they would like to see in their environment, there is a universal tendency for them to draw trees, plants, water and wildlife. Presenter, that is very interesting, indeed. But regrettably, today we see less and less opportunities for children to play in nature. What could we do to change things? Dr. Hadi, well, you are right. First of all, more and more children are playing indoors with electronic games and toys. And as you say, there are fewer and fewer places to play outdoors. However, we do not necessarily need to think of creating huge parks. A small park with a few trees or small green spaces in empty lots can make a difference. Similarly, schoolyards can be restructured fairly easily by simply planting a few trees and shrubs and providing some sandy and grassy areas for play. Presenter Thank you very much, Dr. Hadi, for this very enlightening talk. I think I will go and take a walk in the Sanaya Park after work today. Now, answer the questions.